GT Productions, bringing adventures to audio, you beautiful human scum. One minute, this no waiting, I will be right with you. Uh, just go and have a look around, you know, I'll, I'll, while I sort this out. Oh, my God, it's all my, all my, God, get back on me. I, blimey. A veiled detective. <laughs> well, uh, how can I help you, uh, Miss, m- 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 uh, Mum? I have come to peruse your shop, Mr... Yes, uh, small piece, uh, Mum. <laughs> well, I am honoured. Indeed, I am honoured to have such a person of your reputation in my uh, humble establishment. Yes, well, I have been told you sell all kind of items in this uh, quaint little shop. Quaint? <laughs> No one's ever called it quite before. I was hoping to find something suitable for a gift for a very dear friend. Oh, say no much, say no more. Here we have many an item that would be good for a gift. Now, is it for a special occasion, birthday, anniversary? Does that make a difference in what I should be looking to buy? Well, 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 no, I, d- I don't suppose. It's it's just that you know most people, you know, they only buy gifts when you know the, when they've got a reason. Like, I will never understand apes and their customs. Yeah, what? Sorry, come again. Now, what about this brooch? Mm, no, no, something a bit more, a bit more personal. I think. Ah, I think I have got just. The thing now, you wait right there. Now, where did I, where did I put that blessed thing? Oh, oh hang on, get out here! No, get, no, get back there. Oh, that's where I put you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Gotcha. Ah. What is this? Well, it's a necklace, isn't it? Well, actually, it's two. You see, one is as blue as a topaz, and the other is green like. My Jenny's eyes. Yes, this is just the thing I was looking for. There you go, Mister Smallpiece. This should be enough for this item. Oh, blimey, that... Uh, uh, yes, uh, <laughs> thank you again, uh, uh, Miss... Uh... Madame Vastra. Back to Paternoster Road. <sighs> nice, but strange woman. you some tea. You were gone a while. Just need to clear your head or something. Or is it after that last case? Because, you know, it being so close to the underground. No, no, Jenny. I just fancied some... How do you put it? Yes. Sightseeing. Although, yes, the underground case definitely hit a nerve. I'm sorry, Mum. I know how much those places scare you. Jenny, remember our little promise to each other that we would not bring up our past but look forward to our future together. Yes, Mum. I'm sorry. Come sit with me for a while. Oh, I can't, Mum. I've got work to be getting on with. I've got dishes and dusting and, well, sorting out all the fire grates. Oh, we could really use a butler. Well, if I find one who will accept our way of life, I'll be sure to snap them up at the first opportunity. (laughs) And besides, I've bought you a little gift while I was out. Mum, you shouldn't have. I ain't got you anything. I saw it in that fellow's shop on the other side of the Thames. And what fella? Smallpiece, I think he said his name was. Oh, him. 
Go on, open it. All right. <laughs> Never had a gift in such a pretty box before. Oh my God. <gasps> Mum, it's... <gasps> Beautiful, my love. Just like you. There's two in here. Yes, my dear. The blue one is for myself. Oh. And the green one is for you. <laughs> here, let me put it on. I knew it would match your eyes perfectly. Should I put yours on, Mum? Please. Did you see that? See what? It, it looked like yours flashed when I put it round your neck. Oh, Jenny, it must have been the reflection of the candlelight you saw. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. Anyway. <laughs> I better go do those dishes. They ain't gonna wash themselves. Or we could partake in some training before dinner. <laughs> but the dojo or the assault course? Running or fighting, my dear. Your decision. <sighs> you twisted me arm. <laughs> but don't go moaning when I actually have to do some housework. This place doesn't maintain itself, you know. <laughs> all right, all right, I get it, you're faster than me. <laughs> it's a weakness in humans. <laughs> oh, don't you challenge me. I know I can climb a wall quicker. <laughs> not as quick as I. <laughs> Oi, that's not fair. <laughs> Ten oh. seconds faster. Oh, Jesus. Oh, damn London smog. Oh. Drink, my dear. Thank you. Oh. And now, back to my Jenny. The joy. Oh. As always, Jenny, that stew was marvellous. Is there anything exciting in the papers? No, nothing that needs our specialist attention. Unless you call helping John the Butcher getting his cat, Mr Tibbles, out of the tree for the hundredth time. <laughs> no, perhaps not. Oh, but this does sound interesting. Horses have been going missing from the local horse show. A show about horses going missing? No, my love. It says here, it's the first event of its kind. Different displays from the variety of stallions and mares on show. However, after a few events, some of the top competitors' horses have vanished. <laughs> I guess it would be nice not to be running over rooftops and jumping into hay barrels for a change. Then, shall we go investigate? We may even have time to enjoy ourselves. How about a little outing? <laughs> but as for now, it's getting late. We should retire for the night. Come, Jenny. Yes, Mum. <sighs> Can you undo me? I always struggle with these corsets. Of course. I'll never get over how soft your skin is. <laughs> Mum, you always give me goosebumps when you do that. Goosebumps? It's an odd one to describe. May I brush your hair before bed? Of course. Two secs. I'll take it down. Oh, yes. <laughs> Much better. I love how fascinated you are with my hair. It's one of those things I'm jealous about you mammals having. One thing. <laughs> what else are you jealous of? Hush, you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> nice and cosy. <laughs> that necklace looks good on you. Even in your nightgown. <laughs> Seriously, Mum. I love it. Yours is pretty too. Should I bite the candle? Please. <sighs> no.
not your ducks. Good night. Oh, for once I think I've overslept. I really don't care. Mom? Mom? Yes, my love? Oh, come now, Jenny. That's not even funny. I mean it. You, stay back. Jenny, my, my love, what's, what's wrong? Don't you, my love, me. Only my Vastra gets to call me that. So I'll ask you again. Who the hell are you? It's me, Vastra. Your Vastra. You, stay away. <laughs> I'm warning you. Tell me where Vastra is. Now. Jenny, put the sword down. It's me. No, you ain't. My Vastra is... is... a little woman from the dawn of time. You, you're... human. I beg your pardon. Oh, oh, my, oh my goodness. My arms. My, my scales. I'm... What am I? You get out. You hear? You get out and bring Jenny, my Vastra back. Please. How can I make you see I am Vastra? I know the one word test. How do you know that? Oh, for heaven's sake, Jenny. Okay. Fine. If you think that's going to help you, one word. That. One word I despise, but can't forget. Scarity! Vastra? No, it can't be. Jenny, listen. Listen to my voice. It's me. I'm as shocked as you are. What happened to you? I, I'm human. <laughs> yeah, you're definitely that. Everything feels so different. The breeze from the window, the, the bed sheets. The... I guess human skin is more sensitive. <laughs> yeah. That's. that's. Those, Mom, the goosebumps. Ah, I can see why you like them. Mom. Can I kiss you? Purely experimental, of course. I guess it would be nice to investigate this this human skin more. Yeah, exactly what I had in mind. Let's do some <laughs> investigating. I'm struggling with this corset, Jenny. Oh, please help. Oh. Not as flexible as before. Well, we both know that's not true. <clears throat> it's because your body's in new shape now. On oh. the fact that it's now somehow an ape. <laughs> uh, I see. Could you also pass me that brush? You have been brushing your hair for ages. It looks fine. Yes, well... I have never had hair of my own to brush. It's soothing. I can see why you like it so much. The carriage is here. We better get a hurry if you want to see this horse show. Talk over the facts of the case. Here we go. Have a good time, ladies. Jenny, this is wonderful. The breeze on my face. I can feel the sun on my skin, too. <laughs> You're not used to it, are you, without your veil? No, I'm not. I know it sounds strange, but I have never thought I'd be able to walk around London without having to wear it. 
No one knows it's me. I could literally be anyone. People are so used to seeing the veiled detective. They're not even staring at me. Oh, I don't know. Some of them are having a good old stare. Mind you, if I wasn't walking with you, I might be staring too. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Jenny. It's simple, Mom. You being human. You're very beautiful. <laughs> oh, Miss Flint. So are you. Yeah, but I've been an ape since birth. Yours is very... No. <laughs> I'm still trying to work out why it's happened. So, what shall we see first? There looks like there's so many events and... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Slow down, Jenny. We are here to investigate too, remember? What's made you all giddy like a schoolgirl? <laughs> Sorry, I... <laughs> I thought you might like to try these first. Chocolate, sweets, petty fours and Victoria sponges. <laughs> you remember, my love. This is what I gave you the first time you stayed at Paternoster Row. <laughs> yeah, I do. And now you get to try them. <laughs> mm. Oh, my Jenny, these are, these are delicious. Mm. Mm. Mum, slow down. You're going to make yourself sick. Yes. Oh, sorry. Mm, sorry, I, I will compose myself. We are on an investigation, after all. Uh, mm. Are you okay, my love? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just... I, I don't know, I, I feel... S strange. Is it cold in here? The temperature seems okay to me. I believe we can wager on which horse wins. Come on, Jenny, let's put a bet on. Gambling, Mum. What can I say? I'm feeling spontaneous, Jenny. Jenny, you don't look well. Perhaps you should sit. Can you smell that? The horses, they smell. I don't know how to describe it. Sorry. Um. <sighs> right, um, about a bet. How about, uh, um, this one? Put a bet on this one. Um, mother's... Uh, um, oh, come on, Jenny. Mother's... You and I make what sound? <clears throat> Ooh. Which would make it? <laughs> Mother's ruin. Yes. One for that very horse, thank you. Very busy. It seems rather popular, yes. You're right with that. Normally you hate it. I'm fine, my love. I am, in fact, trying to scan the area for any suppositions. Human eyes are not as reliable as my own. The race, Mom, look! <laughs> Come on, Mother's Ruin, you can do it! Come on! <laughs> oh my god, Mom, we're gonna win! Chances are, whoever is taking these horses is probably in there somewhere. Yes, you beautiful beast! We won! Mom, we won! I've never won anything in my life! Well, in that case, congratulations! Look, they're loading up the horses. Well,. That one don't seem to be treating them too friendly. No. He does seem agitated. Oh, God. Jenny. Perhaps we should question, question him. What just happened? I heard that man from earlier. The one winding up the horses. And they only take the winners. I wonder why. Something to do with their stamina, perhaps? Mom, look, he's moving. Oh, where are you off to, mister? Yeah, I know. I'll follow him. You go get the Williams. You have the perfect disguise to bend in. Very well. But be careful. I have a potential new specimen for you. Yeah, good looking stallion. Just won the 12 o'clock race. Didn't look like it broke a sweat. I can deliver to the same place, but it'll cost you more this time. 
tutaj była była dość mały. Dość creepy fellow in the corner you're talking to. Twice the cost the last time. You are definitely up to no good. Then get someone else to do it, because I won't. Go on, do it. Right here. But you won't get anyone else to do what I can for you, for whatever you're cooking up with these horses. Oh, I really hope you ain't cooking horses. Cooking who, my love? But blimey. Mum, you trying to give me an heart attack? Shh, don't want to scare him off. You're the one that creeped up on me. Look, he's being handed an envelope. Ah, glad to see you've seen sense. Oh, my skin pulled up on fire. My love? Mum, I thought he's playing up with your jaw. Your jaw does look swollen, but it's not particularly warm or cold. Oh, look, it's leaving. So is the hood. Looks like we're splitting up again. I'll go talk to Pipe Man. That leaves me with Hood. But Jenny, if you need to stop, do. You're looking a little, well, green. <sighs> Don't give me that. I heard everything you said to that hooded friend of yours. You've been following me? Yeah. She ain't difficult to follow. Kind of stand out, so to speak. <laughs> I could smell you amongst the crowd. So, <laughs> why are you taking them horses? Because I get paid to. And I don't ask questions. Well, you ain't taking any more. You hear? Oh, and I suppose you're going to stop me, are you? Oh, here we go. Oh! No! Hey! Hey! All right! All right! Enough! Knew you would see sense. Yeah, well, so would you in my place. Now, be a dear and tell me more about your hooded friend. So you lost him? I'm not as fast as I was, my love. Sorry. And the man I question knew nothing. Very much a case of doing what he's paid to do. Jenny, did you harm him? Threatened him. Only way he would listen. You still don't look well. I'm fine. We need to find this hooded man. Oh, God, my jaw. Let me see. If this gets worse, my love, we may have to take you to the doctors. Have more back teeth pulled. Those last four were bad enough. I'm starting to think it may have gotten to your jawbone now, my love. More oh, bloody matches. I wonder if there's a way for the doctor. The doctor? Good day, Mum, Miss. I've been sent with drinks for you both and your help, ma'am. Um, I'm not sure Madame Basher should have any more. She's already had five. Jenny? We're meant to be on a case. Who sent them? The man in the corner didn't give a name. I'm sorry I'm being grouchy today. It's okay. I understand it's not easy to control your emotions sometimes. Mm, I do enjoy gin, Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting it must be a strange experience in stuffing your new body. Yes, my love, it most certainly is. But some things are very pleasant. Like this, for example. <laughs> you be careful. <laughs> oh, Jenny, this is exhilarating. I have never felt this surge of emotions. I can see why. I can see why apes love to bet. Did you bet on another one? Yes! That one there, with the white sock on his left 
hind leg. I think you're drunk. I'm most certainly not. <laughs> you most certainly are. Oh. Oh, sweet God. I am not drunk. Thank you very much. I am in complete control of myself. And that's why you just fell off your chair. Mom, remember you're human now. <laughs> Alcohol affects you differently. Oi, you. I'm talking to you. You just spilt my beer. How dare you talk to a woman like that, you filthy ape! What did you just call me? I said, you're a filthy, dirty, disgusting ape! Right, you bitch, you need to learn your place. Oh, I think it is you who will learn a lesson here. <coughs> Get off <coughs> me! Jenny, I'm bleeding! Oi, leave her alone. <coughs> what do you think you're doing attacking the lady? I could have you arrested. Wait a minute. Ain't you? Oh, the man in the hood. <laughs> I'm a lot quicker than I look, mate. I'm a hell of a lot quicker. <sighs> I've got you cornered. <laughs> what are you trying to do? Scare me by your sin? Well, that ain't gonna. <coughs> Oh, no. I just... Oh, I didn't mean to... Jenny! Oh, no. Jenny, is everything okay? What happened to him? Uh, um, uh, he choked. Choked? Come on, Mum. We need to get home. But, but my dear... But... Seriously, we need to leave. Please. Only split lip. Oh, he's lucky. If I wasn't in this form, I'd. Oh, oh, ow! Hold still. You're oh. not as tough as a human, are you, Mum? Oh, my head. I think it's a concussion. Oh, don't be silly. Silurians don't. Oh, mm -hmm. oh indeed. Now we're home, we can try and figure out why. You have been. Doing that a lot recently. Doing what? Scratching your arm. My skin feels like it's covered in ants. Oh, let me look at it. Oh, it's fine, honestly. Jenny, let me look. Oh, Jenny, what have you done? You've changed the subject. I'm going to bathe that arm. It looks infected. Why did you become a human overnight? I cannot think as to the reason why. That might have something to do with the fact that you have a concussion. Mum, it's not just my arm that's itching, but my jaws still aching too. But there's nothing to aggravate your fuzzy. It's not warm or cold. It's not damp. Come here. Let me feel if you have a temperature. Jenny... You feel ice cold. You must have banged your head harder than I thought. I feel fine in myself. It's just maturing whatever's going on with my arm. Well, I will be keeping an eye on you. I will not let this human body be weak! Oh. The time it took me to complete the course today was unacceptable! Oh. I, I cannot struggle! I can't... Uh, 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 oh, this is... This, this is a good thing! This is a good thing! Stop 
getting so worked up. I need to calm down. I can't let Jenny see me in this state. Damn this body! Oh, by the goddess, this has made me emotional. Oh, oh, I guess I overdid it. is in the air, bird. Oh, Lord, it smells like a fine wine. What? Oh, Jen, what are you doing? You can't seriously be thinking of eating a pigeon. Jenny, I know when you are hiding something from me. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, Jenny, just because I'm human doesn't mean I don't know when you're not telling me things. Like, where did you disappear to last night? I went for a walk. Hmm. Hmm. I've been thinking. My current state, it happened after the necklaces. I did see mine go. Well, I thought I saw it glow, and you just said it was trick of the light. Well, maybe it wasn't. Oh, this green rash is getting worse. Green rash? What green rash? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, if you say it's nothing, I will... No, oh, I didn't want you to worry. Jenny, have you been hiding this? What else have you been hiding? Here, look. By the goddess, your arm! I oh, know, it's green. Jenny, this is not green. It's... it's impossible! What is? I think I know what's happening. Come, we need to go to my siloretum. But what is it? Lastra! Now, where is that blasted thing? What are you looking for? My medical scanner. But that's only for you, isn't it? Precisely. And if I'm right... Ah, aha! Found it. Jenny, place your arm on the table. All right. It won't help, will it? No. Jenny? What is it? It's not a rash at all, but a change in your DNA. A change in me what? It's scales, Jenny. Silurian scales. Oh, don't be daft. I'm not. Just as I have turned human, you are slowly turning into a Silurian. Don't you see? You said yourself you feel cold. Your jaw only plays up when you are cold. Has anything else happened? Truthful, Jenny. It's all right. Are you want me to eat pigeons? Wait. <laughs> Did you actually eat one? Maybe. Oh, Jenny. Last night, on that walk. The necklaces. You said they were glow. You think that I was changes because of these things? Stranger things have happened. Uh, let's see what this makes of it. No. No, no, that's not possible. What is it? What's it say? It's not from this planet. It says it is Rutan technology. Rutan? What's a Rutan? Sworn enemies of a race called Sontarans. And what's a Sontaran? Not important now. Mm. This is interesting, however. Jenny, give me your necklace. Yeah. 
Ah. It appears to be used by spies. It has nanotechnology in them. You are. Think of them as small robots, no bigger than a pinhead. They can be controlled and instructed. To do what? It would appear, in this case, to change DNA. DNA? What? Deoxyribonucleic acid. That's what makes up our cells in our bodies. It contains our genetic information. Only these can change that. And do what, exactly? Well, for one, turn a Silurian into a human and... A human into a Silurian. Exactly. Would that explain why I got so angry at your show? Possibly. And how I was able to strangle the hood with my... Your what? My tongue. Jenny, why didn't you tell me that? I... I don't know. I got scared. And then last night I ate a... Bloody bird! How did I not figure this out? Your body is in overdrive. Your cognitive thinking must be struggling to break in. Oh my god, Mum, what is that to happen to me? Oh Lord, I can smell everything. I can hear everything and I'm so hungry. It's okay, my love. We will get through this together as always. Ah, so, if Rutan spies use these to transform them into another species to be better spies, I'm guessing once they are finished with their mission, they must have a way to... Turn themselves back. Precisely. What about asking that bloke you got him offered? And maybe he might know. <laughs> Small piece? No. I doubt that ape has the first clue about how these work. I'm guessing he just saw them as an easy way to make some cash. <laughs> well, how are we going to reverse this? I'm not big with nanotech, but from what I remember, these should have a computer to tell them what to do. Give them instructions, so to speak. Okay. Well, can we not give them new instructions? Oh, you beautiful, clever little ape! Funny. I need to have more ideas more often. <laughs> if I can create a programme that tells them to reverse what they have done and transform us back to how we were, do you think you can? Yes, I believe so. All I need is a sample of our original DNA. Like what? Well, like a strand of your hair. What about the airbrush? Yes, that would work. What about you, Mum? What can we use for you? Well, I still have my stasis pod. It should have my DNA in its computer. I can use that and instruct the nanites to reset our bodies. Will all this work, though? We won't know unless we try. Right. I'll go get the airbrush and then I'll make a pot of tea. I have a feeling this is going to take a while. Jenny, I know you are hungry, but you need to resist, OK? I know you feel crazy for flesh. You can smell the blood of every pigeon, mouse or person who walks past. But you must keep telling yourself... You are human. I'm not sure we will be able to return to our forms otherwise. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> there. I think we have it. So now what? Now, I give you an injection and one for myself. Mum, look at all those scales you've got on me. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, you didn't know the necklace was to blame. But the scales are creeping up your neck now. Well, just give me that jab and we'll see if it fixes it. <laughs> ah! Sorry. My turn. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Jenny, it won't be instant. I suggest we get some rest. She won't make me feel so sleepy. 
And this is why I suggested we lay down. Mm -hmm. Come, my dear. Hopefully it's the antigen beginning to work. No. I really need... Blood? <laughs> Goddess, that makes my species sound like some form of vampire. Could I? I will fetch you some. I'd rather you drink that than go eat another bird, or worse. did need that, didn't you? Oh, I'm scared. Have some more, my dear. It will help. I know how those jitters feel. Oh, it's getting... It's getting rather warm in here. <laughs> but it's perky. <laughs> I feel like... Like that feeling when you drank more milk before bed. I'm so tired. Mm. <laughs> Buster. Mm. You awake? Yes, my love. <laughs> if it weren't mum, you're well. <laughs> you. <laughs> so it would seem. And you are no longer covered in scales. Mm, and I can no longer hear the blood running round your body. I know. Mom, do you read that all the time? Yes, I do. Wait, Jenny, your jaw's not swollen. And that cut just above your eye from grease has gone. One moment. Turn around. Oi! You just want a cheeky look. <laughs> no, it's not that. I think the nanites have done a little bit more. Oh, God, what have they done now? Have they given me a tail or something? No, your scars have gone. From the rats? From when I lived on the streets? What? Why? I think the nanites have fixed every cut, scar, and anything else. You look magnificent. As do you. I suppose we had better return to the matter of this horse case now, hmm? Maybe later. Mm. I think we should stay in bed a little longer. <laughs> <laughs>